Hey, shout out one mocking. <clears throat> it's your brother Karab from GMS Miami. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachav, Wadash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I want to give a hearty shout out to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to waking up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, Shalom. Okay, and this is another quick hitter. And uh, one that I wanted to go into on this one is, um, I believe the second Ezra is the ninth chapter, uh, around the 20th verse, 21st, somewhere up in there. If I'm if, if I'm mistaken, I'll, I'll put the precept, you know, I'm driving, I'll put the precept in the uh, description box. Uh, but, um, uh, the scripture what in the scripture reads roughly paraphrasing is uh, uh, uh think not on how the wicked shall perish but on how the righteous shall be saved okay and that, that and that says a lot man okay and it's really this is uh what i really want to uh aim aim this towards okay mainly the whole church you know uh whoever sees fits to uh watch it whoever the, the, uh, the spirit compels to watch it but um mainly to the younger brothers, you know, the younger brothers in the faith, because, um, you know, I can attest, you know, you first come in, man, you, 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 you're on fire to the point where, you know, sometimes you can be a little, um, a little brash and, um, you know, um, how, how can I say, uh, a little puffed up, you know, um, and, um, you know, you're just enraged, you know, mainly because you've been lied to, okay? And um, basically, you're young in the faith, you know, and it takes time, okay? You know, uh, nobody expects a, a brother who's coming in the first six months to a year to two years for, you know, the brother to be showing temperance of a man that's been in this thing five, ten years, so forth and so on, you know? So, you know, uh, and, I, and I noticed that with a lot of the brothers, even with myself first coming in, and I came in when I was uh, about, what, 30 years old, and... Um, you know, when, when you find out what, what's been done to us as a nation, okay, who we are, um, and uh, how our adversaries has come up against us, man, you want vengeance, you know, you want vengeance. And not only with the heathens, but also with the uh, the undesirables of our nation, okay, that, that multitude, I, I know for sure, second edge of the ninth chapter, the 22nd verse, where it says, uh, let the multitude perish then that was born in vain, okay? And, um, and what that stems from is, is us trying to tell everybody, okay, like the scriptures uh, clearly command us not to do, okay, but when you first coming in, you really don't, you, you know what I'm saying, you're really walking on um, blind faith, okay, which is not wrong, but you have to grow in this thing and, and it has to materialize into uh, temperance and, and, and understanding, you know what I'm saying, and wisdom, you know, but I, I can attest, man, you know, me, myself, and other brothers that I came in this thing with and I've been associated with in the faith, you know, when you first come in, man, you, you, you're on fire and you just want judgment, man, you know, and rightfully so. You know, we've been, hey, many, many atrocities have been committed to us as a nation and still are, and the worst times of ever are yet to come, okay, as far as persecution of Israel as a nation, man, you know, but the point is, you come in this thing and you, you know, hey, you know, hey, can't wait till you niggas get put to death, which is still the case, okay? Uh, from elder apostle to on down, you know? But as you grow, you show temperance and you understand, look, fuck these people, man. And the elder apostle to always says that, man, we're not concerned with the two thirds. They were born in vain, you know? But uh, we do have to, uh, you know, alluding to uh, Psalm the 58 chapter, we do have to, uh, I mean, Salakia, Isaiah the 58 chapter in the first verse, you know, cry aloud and spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show Israel their transgressions. We, yeah, we still have to do it. But as you grow in this thing, you understand, look, you know, I, I don't give a shit about how, to, you know, how they get judged, you know, because, and that's what the Heavenly Father uses to compel you in this thing. First off, um, you telling people and they looking at you like you're a complete bug out, but your whole vibration is to warn them from uh, for uh, from the heavenly Father, man, the indignation of the heavenly Father, okay. And what do they do? They make mockery of you. They scoff and mock at what we're telling them, which is we know a hundred percent 
for 144% fact uh, to be true, you know? So it builds up that, you know, that rage in you, which is a part of the process, you know? But as you grow in this thing, you understand, look, man, to hell with these people, man. I'm not focused on them. Like the scripture says, uh, 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 think not on how the wicked shall perish, but on how the righteous shall be saved. And that's what we need to focus on, man, okay? Because you continually saying, oh, you niggas gonna die, this, this, that, and third. We need to be crossing our T's and dying our I's as well, okay? And then you take more, uh, uh, you take um, less effort into condemning, you know what I'm saying? Which is our job now, okay? But less effort in condemning and being brash and, you know, on social media saying people, you're going to die, this, that, and the third. And then you focus on the things that you need to seek our salvation, you know? And that's pretty much what the angel intended when he told Ezra that, man. You know, don't worry about that, man. They were born in vain. Worry about how you're going to be delivered, you know? Worry about how you're going to be delivered from what you saw that made you sick to your stomach, you know? And as we get closer and closer, that uh, permeates and resonates with, with, with us more and more and more, okay? Especially as we see the day approaching, you know? So, yeah, you know, just like real quick and just wanted to throw that out there, you know, you know, uh, 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 you know, if that, if, that is, if that is something that you're dealing with, you know, and like I said, it's not a bad thing, you know, but we, we, we need to focus on getting the hell out of here, man, you know, and, and making sure we're trimming and, and uh, becoming a better, better uh, servant for your Hayabashimi Al Shai every day. We know we, you can look in these people's countenances, okay? Their countenances show that they're wicked and they're going to die, man, okay? And, 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 and another reason why you, you want to, you know, minimize that or, or focus on more on being delivered is because we don't know who the two thirds are. Okay, the scriptures speak about. Um, scriptures speak about. Um, damn, what's the? I, I lose the point. Uh, it, it slipped my mind, so lock it, but it'll come back to me. But um, yeah, we need to focus more on you know figuring out what we need to do. You know, what I'm saying to stay out of the heavenly father's way. You know, but as you grow in this thing, man, it, it comes by nature, and the more you build your faith. You know, it, 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 um, it, it permeates, you know. But uh, like I said, I'm just throwing that out there for the younger brothers, you know, in the faith. Because, you know, and, and I witness it. I go on social media and I see them. Yeah, I can't wait till you niggas die. And, you know, which is not wrong. Which is of the spirit, you know. Which is of the spirit because we all have different spiritual vibrations. But that was a commandment, you know, given to Ezra. You know, don't work focus less on how, how they're going to perish because guess what? The scriptures tell you how they're going to perish. They're going to be numbered to the sword. they be numbered to the famine. Some of them are going to get hit with nuclear missiles. Some of them are going to get hit with chariot fire. You know? Some of them are going to starve to death. Pestilence, plagues, so forth and so on. So we're not focused on how they're going to die or when. Okay? Because we know for 100% surety if you ain't right with the Heavenly Father, you are going to die. Okay? So Let's take that and put it in that furnace and that, you know, as fuel for us to get, you know, our shit together and um, be fruit found meat for repentance um, at the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, Lord, when that was edifying with that, I want to say, Yahweh Shai, 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 Yahweh